Hey guys, what is going on? So I've got a really cool video I think you guys are really going to like. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to play Rocket League on mobile. So although I'm terrible at Rocket League, it happens to be one of my favorite games. And over the course of the last few months, um, with seeing like PUBG, Fortnite, games like that, that are, you know, getting these mobile games, Rocket League has never had a mobile game. There's been a lot of third party apps that are not very good uh, that, you know, try to mimic some of that. But Rocket League's a big game and there's not any mobile support. But if you've ever played it on console and then played on PC, you notice a huge difference overall, just how the gameplay is, um, you know, how smooth it is, stuff like that. And that's something that you just can't really get that experience on any other device other than a PC until now. So what I'm using right now is my SteelSeries Nimbus controller. You can use virtually any Bluetooth controller, should work, but iOS sometimes is a little tricky, so I'm using the SteelSeries Nimbus. It works fantastic. So what I'm doing is I'm actually playing uh, Rocket League, the full version, in the highest possible graphics. Now you might be wondering, how are you playing that so well? Oh, you're probably connected to your PC because you game on PC. But actually, that's not the case. Uh, I'm using this program called Shadow. So you guys may have heard of this before, Linus Tech Tips, um, did a really cool video on it. Um, but this is something that I was actually extremely interested in because as somebody who games and is terrible at it, I wanted a way to be able to do it on the go and not just be able to do it on a computer, which by the way, if you haven't seen Shadow before, go to shadow.tech. You can use my promo code to save 10 bucks. Um, don't worry about that right now. Honestly, I could care less if you use my code. I just want you to be able to experience what this is actually capable of. So initially this was designed for if you have you know, an older PC or Mac, computer that can't really run games very well, but you want to be able to play PC games or high quality games, then this is the best solution I can tell you right now that's on the market. So there's, if you have a gaming PC already, then you can use a lot of programs that will allow you to connect to it um, to you know, use your games mobily or on the go, but they don't have as much support. This is literally insane to me how smooth it runs, the support they have, and just how well done the app is overall, because with Shadow, you get access to a full Windows 10 computer um, it's literally your own, you customize it, um, but it's a virtual machine. So you have to have a internet connection because it's not something you physically are gonna have in your house. It's something that you're gonna be connecting to. So you can pretty much get up and going right away. So you pretty much have a virtual computer is exactly what it is. But the great thing is it's got support for mobile. Um, and this is the best part because if you're somebody who likes to mobile game or if you're somebody who loves to PC game and you know they have the same game sometimes on Xbox, like Rocket League is on Xbox, PS4, Switch, None of those compare to what the gameplay is like on PC. It's just, it's just not there. And if you wanna be able to play that on the go and you wanna have the same quality that you have on your PC or better, then this is the option because you can literally play with your friends. You can be on Discord. You can be playing literally all your PC games with your friends. You're literally on a PC on your phone. That was a lot of information to take in. So let me show you how this works. So as you can see on here, um, you can go to your menu. Everything's literally like you are playing on PC. Um, there's a lot of touch functionality too, which is great. If I want to, I can literally just use my hand to go through different options. Um, if you ever have to type something in, there's a sweet little menu here you tap, gives you options to your keyboard, restart your system, stuff like that. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna exit the game so I can just show you some things here. So when you exit the game, what you see right here is literally exactly what it looks like. You have a full-blown Windows 10 system and it's fully operatable from even just using the touch screen. It's literally crazy. If you have not tried this out, I urge you to try it out, it's so good. So the greatest thing about this is you can literally do everything from your phone. I can access any of these things, I can play any of my games, I can download new games, any computer program you can literally run off your machine. And the best part is, all you need is Wi-Fi. That's literally it. You need Wi-Fi and a device that can watch videos because that's essentially what it's doing is it's transferring that video to your screen and it's just so fast and seamless. I don't know how they make it so smooth, for Windows, for instance, if you're trying to access something on here and the icons are a little small, you can literally still zoom in and your touch controls are still there. It's so accurate. So for instance, like if you wanna open up Rocket League or a game, so that's pretty much the only one I have installed on here right now. I'll have some future videos. So if there's a game you really wanna see how it works, drop it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check it out. But for right now, Rocket League is what we're looking at. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. So I'm literally just going to double tap Rocket League like I would on my computer. And you saw a little icon pop up there. It's literally going to load the game exactly like you would on PC. It's literally crazy how seamless of an experience it is. And it even like on your phone, like it uses what you would normally watch, how you'd watch a video or how you would play a mobile app, like the same functionality. And then you're right back into the game. You can use the touch screen to go through the menus. You can even use the touch screen to boost and do other things inside the game, which is cool. Um, I can go to play 
And this is my actual Rock League account, by the way, just so you can see. I know I'm only plat, don't worry about it. It's pretty bad, but um, I can select a game, whatever I wanna do. We're actually gonna jump into a Devils game so I can show you just how smooth this is playing on a network connection. So, find match. I'm gonna switch over to my controller, though, so I can give you the full experience. I don't wanna try to do it with touch screen because I'm already bad enough as it is. All right, so we are in a game. Um, my ping is 24. That's literally lower ping than I have when I play at home. Um, also, I'm super bad at this game, so please don't, uh, no judge zone. It's just crazy to me how smooth this is, especially that I'm playing on my phone. Like, there's a lot going on. But you know, like I'm screen recording and everything too, so like my iPhone's doing a lot and it's super smooth. Like I said, my ping is 24. But yeah, guys, that's literally it. Just go to shadow.tech is the website. Like I said, you can use my promo code if you want, but even if you don't use it, do some reviews on this, check it out. Um, especially if you're somebody, like I said, who doesn't have a game system or doesn't have a gaming PC, this is the best option for you if you don't wanna buy a new computer, or don't wanna build a new product, whatever your situation is, this is great. Cause like I said before, if you try the, the version of where you're just on your Mac or your PC and you're just playing games through there, it's so smooth, it's so good. But on mobile, I think it's great. They said they're still working out some bugs and it's still got a lot of ways to go, but like, it's fantastic. So you guys have it, that is Rocket League on mobile. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if there's any games you want me to show you. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one.